This is another in the series of videos on how to synchronize your iPad to your computer in iTunes. And in this video, we're going to look at how to synchronize apps from your iPad to your computer. In iTunes, you need to be able to see your device. Now, if you're using iTunes 11 and you haven't uh, altered it, your device will be up in the top here. If you wish to um, put it back to the sidebar, then go into the view menu and show sidebar, and then it's a little bit easier to follow. So here's your device, and select your device and select the apps tab. And in this video, we're going to look at how do you actually move your apps around. You can do it on the iPad, but it's a bit easier on this one. How do you remove apps and from directly from uh, your iPad in iTunes? And uh, how to add files and documents to those apps that can actually share files. Look at all those three things. Our first thing is this arranging the apps here. Now I've got a lot of apps, 253 apps that that are on that uh, iPad, but I've bought a lot more and they're all available if I went into the iTunes store and look at the purchase tab. I can still download those apps that I haven't got on the iPad. To actually move them around, if we go back to the iPad, to move these apps around, you need to hold an app down, any app, until they all start wiggling. And I wanted to move this app here, one password, back to the main screen. It's on at the moment the third screen in. I want to move it back to where this empty space is up here. So I can do that directly on the iPad by holding them down so they wiggle, holding my finger on one password, and then just dragging it till it gets to, and when you get to the edge, just keep holding it down till it gets to the page and then drop it where I want it to go. So this is the first page and drop it there. Uh, if I wanted to move some of the other ones around, rearrange them, I can just arrange them within the page in that way. It's difficult though sometimes if I wanted to get all of the Google apps together. So gee whiz is a Google app and I want that app to come up here somewhere in this row. To do that, I, I think most simply I'll just do this. But when I do that, one of the, the next, the Google Drive one slips to the next row. So it's just a little bit uh, awkward to do a whole scale reorganization of your screens directly on the iPad. It's easier to do it in iTunes. Now, when you finish moving things around, just hold the tab down, the home key down, and that will stop them. But let's go back to iTunes and look at how you do it in iTunes in the Apps tab. Here's the screens here, and I've got down the bottom here, let's move up a bit, uh, across the width of that panel there, all of the different screens on my iPad and all the different apps. So if I click on screen number five, they're the apps that are on that screen. Number six, folders. To add a folder, I've got some uh, icons here that I've just been saved as bookmarks from, from um, Safari. So there's one here, Herald Sun Tipping, iPad Insight, some tax stuff, and they're, they are, they're getting a little bit hard to find. So it would be easier if I created a folder of all those. So I can just drag them over the top. Call it bookmarks because they're from uh, Safari. And then click outside there. Then I've got another one, Herald Sun Tipping drag it in and I've now got a bookmarks folder on screen five and if I have a look at it on the iPad there's screen five it's not there yet you can still see they're all separate there's the three of them because I haven't synchronized it yet with iTunes so let's go back to iTunes and synchronize apply those changes so waiting for the sync to start and up on the right here is the current iPad screen. So you can still see those bookmark icons are all separate. This is the iTunes screen here where the three of them have been put into a bookmarks folder. And that change has not been reflected on the iPad yet. So wait, wait for the, the sync process to complete. You can see all the progress up here 
and now you can see on the iPad that that's now been changed. So that screen has now been updated to reflect what is on iTunes. So syncing means you can make changes on iTunes and when you sync, you apply the changes, then you sync, those changes will be copied over to the iPad. You can do the same on the iPad. So I could have made that change on the iPad and put those three icons into a bookmarks folder and then when I connected my iPad to iTunes and did the sync, it would copy the changes from the iPad back to iTunes. Now, what else can you do on the apps screen? In the middle section here are all the apps that I have installed, uh, not just on my, on my iPad, but they are stored in my iTunes library. So some of these apps are on the iPad, some of them I've deleted from the iPad simply by uh, either clicking the cross here or the other way I could have deleted them is by holding one down so they all start to wiggle. Finding an app I no longer need, so if I look for one that I don't want anymore just to check this works, catfishing. Hold, uh, hold them down so they wiggle, tap the cross, and then you get a chance to opt out if you want to. No, I'm going to delete that one, then uh, tap the home screen to, to stop the, the wiggling. So until I synchronize back to the iTunes, that app will still remain uh, on my app screens in, in here. You'll still find it. But the uh, other way to, to remove them is by looking at the, the, the panel in the middle there. So you can sort uh, all the apps, and there's all these apps here. So I can remove them or install them. So to see all the apps, you've got the selection here. You can show just the iPad apps, because some of these apps are for the iPhone, or you can sort them by these various ways. I usually sort them by size, uh, so that I can see the apps that are taking up the most room. So if I scroll back up to the top here, And the one that has the largest amount of space, so 1.12 gigabytes of space for some tutorials. And it's not on the actual iPad. If I wanted to put that on the iPad, uh, I would have to tap install. So all these ones that have install mean that they're not on the iPad. They're actually in the iTunes library of apps. Went to where my iTunes library is. It's in iTunes, iTunes Media. It should be in here, mobile apps. There are all the apps there. It's where they're all stored. So even though it's not on my iPad, it's still sitting here in the iTunes library. It's also still available to me from my iTunes store purchased. So I can get them again. That's why they're all appearing here. Let's put in Tutor for iMovie. So it's not currently on the iPad. So I want to install it back again. Next time I synchronize, that's going to come back on. So it's, it's, it's placed it immediately into one of the screens here. So it's placed it into screen eight here. But it's not on the iPad at this stage because I haven't synchronized it. So if we again went back to have a look at what's on the iPad, this is screen eight here, it's not there. I have to synchronize it before it actually works. And I can do that immediately and I have to press apply, click apply, or it, won't, it won't work. I can also remove them. So if I wanted to remove, uh, let's pick one, Getty Images. So let's find Getty Images here and, re and um, remove that one. So to find it, I can click here and search Getty Images. So I want to remove that one, remove. The next time, and it's removed it immediately from the screen here, but it's still on the iPad. So we'll go back to the iPad. Getty Images is still there. So this is the screen, home screen. Getty Images is there, and the iTunes for movie is not there until I synchronize. So I apply those changes, and it's asking me, do I, am I sure if I want to remove that actual Getty Images app? Uh, it will delete it from the iPad, but it will still remain in the iTunes library. So yes, I do want to remove it and then sync. So it's waiting for the sync to start. And you've got all your progress up here. So you can sort of 
all, always see where the process is and what step it's at. And then when we look at the, um, the iPad in a second, those changes should be reflected. This is the iPad at the moment. It's just waiting for that process to complete. Getty Images is gone, so that app that we deleted is now gone. This is from that same home screen. And this is the one that I'm putting back onto the iPad. And it's, you can see its progress here. The little blue uh, horizontal bar will indicate the progress of that um, change. It's still syncing across. It's waiting. We go back here. It's copying across now. You can see the progress there in iTunes. And go back to the iPad. And you can see also there the progress. It's putting it back. Now, the one I removed, Getty's Images, is still going to be in my iTunes library. So if I go to my location of the iTunes library, back to iTunes, into the mobile apps, and it's in my iTunes library, and it, it's, it puts into your iTunes library all the updates as well. So these are the different versions of this app. So that's back there. So in the, uh, the middle there, you've got all your different option so every one of those ones that says install is sitting in the itunes library and i've taken them off because I've, I'm running out of space on my ipad and see down here i've only got four nearly five gigabytes of space left so that's why i've sorted them by size so i could remove the ones that had the most taking up the most space uh, you can also sort them by date so looking at which ones you've just purchased so they're the different sorting options sorting by category uh, and it's going through the books first, says so the books, books ones. So if you're looking for particular ones, if I scroll down, there's all the games. Lots of games. These are all the productivity apps. You can see the, the uh, genre there. So sort by category, uh, sort by size, sort by kind, and sort by name if you want them alphabetical. So you know, if I wanted to look for Getty's, Getty Images, I could have sorted by name instead of searching for it up here. I think it's a bit quicker to do it that way. Now the third thing you do in the apps screen, scroll down, is file sharing. These are the apps down here that are able to share files. So when you are on the uh, uh, internet or, and you're looking to uh, download a PDF and open it in another app, this is the list of apps that are able to take files, similar files. So if I looked in Adobe Reader, there are all the files in there, the documents in there that I've saved from searching on the internet. I've uh, found a PDF document on the on Safari and I've opened it in Adobe Reader. And they're all listed there. And I can add files from my hard drive, from my finder, or from my document library if you're on Windows and add it directly into Adobe Reader. I can't delete any. So any file here, I can click on there, I'm right clicking, nothing's happening. I can't delete files that are on the app. I have to do it from the app, directly from the app itself. So if we went back and had a look at Adobe Reader on the iPad, these are all the documents. I'm in the, the documents menu. And they're all the different documents that are on here that are again reflected in iTunes here. So I want to delete one of these. This particular document here, I want to delete that. I need to do that on Adobe Reader. So I can either edit and select it and hit the trash. And delete selected documents it's gone or I can just swipe from right to left till the delete button comes up and then tap delete so the two documents that I deleted are gone from iTunes now if I wanted to add one so I'm going to add a file from the documents library 12 ways to maximize your battery you want to add that and it, it is immediately reflected here. It's on Adobe Reader. So you can add files in. You can delete files. So in this section, 
is where you put documents in and out of any apps that are able to be doing it. So if, you, if you're trying to find uh, room, so you need some space, because you're running out of room on your iPad, then have a look in, in what's in these apps. There's a, an awful lot in the uh, Adobe Reader that I might be able to delete. And finally, just to sum up what you can do in the Apps tab. So you can move your uh, icons around, move the app icons around, delete them, um, create folders and delete folders and make any sort of changes to the arrangement of your apps. Secondly, you can uh, install and remove apps from the iPad and instead of just holding down the, uh, an icon till it wiggles and delete them manually from the, from the iPad, you can do it on, in the iPad you can also do it in here and sort them. Thirdly, you can add files and delete files into apps that are sitting in your iPad. So in that third section there, any of these apps can store documents. And you can add them in from your uh, Finder if you're on a Mac, from your Documents Library if you're in a Windows machine. That's all for this video. Part four of the series will look at how you synchronize music.